Hi, I'm Irene Snyder. I'm at the museum here in Ephrata, and today we're going to tell you about some of the rich history of the town, as well as some of the places to check out if you visit. I love sitting back and seeing some of these people and the love they still have for the community. Tucked in the northeast corner of Lancaster County, Ephrata is a town known for its community feel and downtown shops. It all started nearly 300 years ago at the Ephrata Cloister. Ephrata was established in 1732 by Conrad Beisel, who uh, came to uh, America from Germany and founded the Ephrata Cloister. And the cloister, of course, was Ephrata in the 18th century. Uh, the town as we know it today did not exist. People come from all around the world because it's in tour books because it's a very unique place. It was a religious community of celibate men and women who had their own beliefs about religion and God. And it was allowed because Pennsylvania had freedom of religion. Then the town, of course, grew up uh, gradually through the years. It was just a small farming village in the early part of the 19th century. And the impetus for the growth was the establishment of the Reading Columbia Railroad being built through the town, which was completed in 1863. You had uh, the industries beginning to move in town, into the community. You had the tobacco industry, which was really one of the first major industries uh, to be established in the community at one time in the 1880s. In this day and age, uh, what the town has to offer, of course, uh, you have the Historical Society, which has a 13-room museum for people to come and visit. You have EPAC. People come to attend the theater there. They put on phenomenal shows. And you have, of course, the, every year the, the Effort Affair. People look for forward to that every year and it, it's a big drawing card. People who grew up in the town, many of them come back to attend the fair and uh, you, you meet folks that you haven't seen in years and so on. I looked up Ephrata because I never even knew what Ephrata really meant and here I found it, it means fruitful. And I thought, wow, that really says a lot about this place, not just being an agricultural place, and the awesome Green Dragon was such a fun place to go, but just the people here and the love that's here. We've only scratched the surface about the history of Ephrata, so if you want to learn more about the story behind these Ephrata faces, make sure to check out the Historical Society of the Cocalico Valley here in Ephrata. They're open every Saturday or by appointment. For Lancaster Online, I'm Irene Snyder.